Hi friends, uh, <coughs> I am preparing another video on quadratic equations only. I hope this will be the last video. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about the nature of roots, nature of roots of the quadratic equation. Now, what do you mean by nature of roots? How these roots will be? Now, these roots may be real and distinct and distinct. They may, they may be real and equal. Real and equal. This is the second possibility. The third possibility is they may be they may be not real or they are imaginary roots. We say the roots are imaginary. When we will, how we can find out the nature of roots? See, the nature of roots depends upon what you know. The roots are given by this formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a 2a this is the formula now the condition of the roots or the nature of the roots how the roots are depends upon the value of this the value of b square minus 4ac it depends upon this this is known as the discriminant discriminant of the quadratic equation it depends upon this if b square minus 4ac minus 4ac is greater than 0 is greater than 0 or it, it is positive it is you can say it is positive when will it be positive if b square is greater than 4ac the value of 4ac if b square the value of b square is more than the value of 4ac then the it will be positive or the value of this will be greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 what happens is square root of a number which is greater than 0 or which is positive it will be real the square root of that will be real if b square minus 4ac is exactly equal to 0 that is b square will be equal to 4ac then this will be 0 that is root of 0 will be 0 so this will vanish so it will be just minus b by 2a then the roots will be real and equal in this case the roots will be real and distinct here the roots will be real and equal both the roots will be same there will be only one root there now if b square minus 4ac 4ac is less than 0 or it is the value of this is negative when will it be negative if 4ac is greater than b square <coughs> oh, no. 4ac the value of 4ac is more than the value of b square then the value will be negative or it will be less than zero if it is less than zero or negative if the square root of negative quantity is imaginary there is no root you know root of plus one is one it may be either plus one or minus one but minus one has no root this is not possible this is this is not equal to anything it is an imaginary number minus 1 doesn't have any minus number negative number will have no square root it cannot have a square root so this it cannot have the roots the quadratic equation cannot have real roots those roots are said to be imaginary so this is how the nature of roots is found out when they say find the nature of roots you have to find out the value of this b square minus 4ac which is called as the discriminant and tell whether the roots what is the nature of the roots we will do a few one or two problems on this quickly and we will 
complete this. I hope you are understanding. See, find the nature of the roots. Exercise 10.4. He says, find the nature of the roots of the equation. 2x square. First one. 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. This is the given quadratic equation. He just says he doesn't want the roots. He wants us to find out what is the nature of the roots. Now, here A is 2, B is minus 3 and C is 5. Now, you have to just tell what is the nature of the root. So, it is enough if you find the value of this. What is the value of B square minus 4AC? B square is minus 3 the whole square plus and uh, minus 4 into A. A is 2 into C is 5. So 3 square is 9 plus 9 minus 3 if you square it will be plus 9. Now 4 into 2 is 8, 8, 40, 8, 5 are 40. So this is minus 31. It means it is negative. B square minus 4AC is negative. Therefore, the roots of the given equation are imaginary. It doesn't have real roots. There are no real values of x which satisfy this equation. So that is what we have to write. Similarly, two more values are there. Find the values of k. Next problem I will take up. Second one, find the values of k for which, for which the following quadratic equations have real and equal roots. So here, first problem is, there are two problems. First one is 2x square minus uh, plus kx plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0. This is the first problem. So we have to find out the value of k so that this equation can have equal roots, real equal roots. So here A is 2, B is k and C is 3. Now if the equation is to have equal roots, then B square must minus 4AC must be equal to 0. So B square, K square minus 4 into 2 into C, that is 3, must be equal to 0. So K square minus 4 2 is 8, 8 3 is 24 is equal to 0. So K square is equal to 24 or K is equal to square root of 24. Square root of 24 will be Four into six, so it will be two root six. If the value of k is two root six in this equation, then the equation will have equal roots. Second one, second one, very quickly, same condition. The equation should have equal roots. Again, we have one unknown quantity. We have to find the value of that unknown quantity kx into x minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. This is the given equation. He wants this to have equal roots. Then what is the, what is the uh, value of k so that it can have equal roots. Now you bring it to standard form. kx into x kx square minus 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. This is the standard form. A is k, b is minus 2k and c is 6. So according to the given condition b square minus 4ac must be equal to 0. b square means minus 2k the whole square minus 4 into k 
into 6 is equal to 0. So minus 2k the whole square means it will be 4k square minus 24k. 4k are 24k. Now, I'm oh sorry, 24k must be equal to 0. 0. Now in this, k is common factor. If I remove k, uh, 4k is common factor. If I remove 4k here, what I get is k minus 4624 is equal to 0. So 4k is equal to 0 or k minus 6 is equal to 0. So either k must be equal to 0 by 4 or k should be equal to plus 6. So k is 0. If k is 0, then also the roots will be equal. k is 0, then everything will get this thing. Or it is not possible. So k should be equal to plus 6. Plus 6. This is the value. When k is equal to 6, this given equation will have equal roots. Next. One more problem. Is it possible to design a rectangular park of 80 meter perimeter, perimeter 80 meter and area 400 square centimeter? If so, find its length and breadth. This is in the form of a this thing. Is it possible to design a rectangular park? such that its perimeter is 80 meters perimeter of a rectangle you know is 2 into L plus B this should be 80 meters and area is 800. Area is L into B. This should be 400 square meters. 400 square meters. Now, first I will take that 2 into L plus B is 80 meters. So, L plus B will be equal to 80 by 2. That is, L plus B is 40. So, L will be equal to 40 minus B. If I send this B, or you can send L that side, 40 minus B. Now, L into B is 80, uh, 400, sorry, 400. So, instead of L, I can write 40 minus B. That is, two unknowns are being reduced to one unknown. L 40 into B into B is equal to 400. So 40 into B is 40B minus B square is equal to 400. Or minus B square plus 40B minus 400 is equal to 0. Or B square minus 40B I am changing all the signs. Plus 400 is equal to 0. So this is the this thing. Now B will be equal to, I can call it as the X also. B will be equal to uh, minus B. That is minus of minus 40. B is 40 here. Plus or minus, not this B. This B is the width. Root of b square minus 40 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 400. C is 400 divided by 2 into 1. So this is plus 40 plus or minus root of 
माइनस सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड और फोर सा सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई टू दैट इज फोर्टी प्लस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई टू दैट इज बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी मीटर्स दिस इज ट्वेंटी मीटर्स दिस शुड बी ट्वेंटी मीटर्स एंड दिस विल बी एल विल बी फोर्टी माइनस बी फोर्टी माइनस बी मीन्स फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी इट विल बी नॉट ए रेक्टेंगुलर फील्ड इट विल बी ए स्क्वायर फील्ड बोथ साइड्स विल बी इक्वल नाउ पेरीमीटर इज ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी दैट इज एटी मीटर्स सो इट इज करेक्ट देन एरिया इज ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर दैट इज फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर्स दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट so the answer is right we have verified the answer so this is how it can be done uh the you can write that it will not be a rectangular part but it will be a square part because both length and width will be same now if you have understood it if you have benefited from it you can tell your friends you can recommend them to see these videos if you are not if you are not satisfied if you are not happy if you are not understanding anything you can call me and ask me